Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss two examples, right? So this is a first example. We have to find the value of this limit. Limit z tends to i, i z cube minus one upon z plus i. So what will I do? I will directly put the value. Z is equal to i. Okay, and we will simplify it. So if you get zero upon zero or infinity upon infinity form, then that method will not work, and we need to simplify it further. But first, we will start with direct method. So this is equal to. I'm going to put z is equal to i everywhere. So let us see what will happen. I, i cube, right, minus one upon i plus i. So i into i cube, i raised to four minus one i plus i, two i. Okay. Let us recall few things. The value of i is minus one. Its square. This is root minus one. I square is minus one. I cube is minus i, and i raised to four is one. So the value of i raised to four is one. So let us put it here. So one minus one upon two i. So denominator is non-zero. That means this method works here, right? So one minus one zero. So zero upon two i. So the answer is zero. So this is a required answer. Okay. Let us discuss one more example. So let us discuss this second example. Here we have to find the value of this limit. Okay. So what will we do? We will first directly put z is equal to i. Let us see that method works or not. I'm going to put z is equal to i. I'm doing that thing in the rough. So i raised to four will be there if I put z is equal to i minus one upon here also I should put i. So i square minus one, which is equal to you. We know that i raised to four is one minus one is there, and i square is minus one. Okay, so here we have a plus. I should write. So this is minus one plus one. So zero one minus one zero and minus one plus one zero. So zero upon zero. Okay, form we have got so that method doesn't work. Getting so we need to simplify it further. Let us see what we need to do. So this is equal to limit z tends to i. So z square, right? So z square. Uh, what can we do? Z raised to z square square. Okay, z raised to four means what? Z square square minus one means we can write one square. Divided by z square plus one. Getting my point? One square is one, and z, z square square is z raised to four. The same thing I have written, but in a different way. Getting? Actually, I want to use one formula that is a square minus b square formula. It is a plus b, a minus b. Okay. So I have written that uh, numerator in this form. So that's why definitely we can apply the formula. Tell me what I should write. Limit. Z tends to i. So yes, this is a and this is b. So first we need to add them, and then we have to subtract. So z square minus one upon z square plus one. So at numerator and denominator we have that uh, we have got that bracket z square plus one z square plus one. We can easily cancel. So actually that bracket was creating a problem, but now we have cancel it out. So that's why we can directly apply the limit. So let me write here is equal to. Limit z tends to i, z square minus one. Let us apply the limit. That means I will put z is equal to i there. I square minus one. The value of i square. Let me write here. It's minus one, and there is one more minus. So the value is minus two. So in this way, we completed this example. Make a screenshot of it. Then we will stop. Thank you. See you.